Hi everyone, in today's DIY projects we will be crafting with Dollar Tree items. We will be creating some beautiful home decor items on a budget that you could use to decorate your home. For your shopping convenience, all the items used in today's DIY projects will be linked in the description box below. So do check them out and let's jump right into our first DIY project. For our first project, we are making a wall decoration and we're using bamboo skewers. Cut the bamboo skewers to size and I'll be cutting each one at 20 and a half inches. I'll continue cutting the rest of my skewers and I'll be cutting 12 total. Here they are. I'll put those to the side and I'll proceed to cut the rest of my skewers. I'll be cutting 6 pieces at 27 inches. And I'll put these to the side for future projects. I'll be using my yardstick to keep my frame aligned. And these are my 27 inch pieces. I'm placing them 4 inches apart. We have all six pieces. Now I'll go ahead and attach my first piece of 20 inch skewer and you want to place it right on that edge. Now I'll do the same thing for the opposite side. I cut my skewers at 27 and a half inches, but I'll be cutting a half an inch off. So we have the outline of our frame. I'll just go ahead and fill it in and I'll be adding each skewer at two and a quarter inch apart. I'll be using these canning lids from the Dollar Tree. Just make sure that they're sitting directly on top of two skewers while you're gluing down your skewers. I did that and I have an half an inch extra so I'll be cutting those off. Now to make my frame nice and sturdy, I'll be adding my wood glue and I'm using the Gorilla wood glue. I'm using it in the seams and also on the entire frame. Next I'll take it outside and I'll spray paint it with my Rust-Oleum Gloss White. I'll be using my 2 inch mirrors and 4 packs of my canning lids. And I have to give credit to Dazzling Design by Denise. I saw her use these canning lids and she added rhinestones and I thought they looked very beautiful. So I'm also going to be adding rhinestones to my lids. And I'll be doing that for 20 pieces. I used 38 lids total, so 20 pieces with rhinestones and 18 pieces with mirrors. These are my mini rhinestones and you can use the Dollar Tree rhinestones if you'd like. I'll leave the link to this one that I'm using in the description box below. All the items I'm using will be linked below in the description box. Just press more and you'll see the description box. It's right below the title. To attach my rhinestones, I'm using my tacky glue. Now I have all my pieces completed, I'll just go ahead and use my glass cleaner to clean all my mirrors 
and then I'll use my hot glue to attach them to my frame. And you can use a stronger adhesive, but for now I'm using my hot glue. And as far as the layout, I'm just placing them in random areas and just making sure that I cover all the tips on the top and on the bottom. Whatever I do for one side, I'll do it for the next. To hook this on the wall, you can use four nails or four screws. Um, just place them right behind the canning lids. And this is how this project turned out. I hope you like this one. Let's move on to our second project. For our next project, we are using paper plates from the Dollar Tree. And this is the eight pack paper plates and I'll be using two packs. We are making a wall decoration and I'm just going to form the plates to make a flower and I'm just overlapping each one at the seams. adjust them so you can have them overlapping then I'll use my hot glue to connect the pieces together And I'll add my second layer on top. I'll take it outside and spray paint it with my Rust-Oleum Flat Black. I'm also using two foam discs from the Dollar Tree. I'll glue both of them together. Um, then I'll use my knife to carve the edges to create a slight curve. Next, I'll use my tacky glue to add my Dollar Tree pebbles. Feel free to use hot glue, it will be much faster. Now I have it all completed, I'll take it outside and spray paint it with my copper spray paint. Now my wall decor is dry, but as you can see, it's flimsy. So I'm going to go ahead and add some strength to it. And I'll be using these jumbo popsicle sticks. I'll line my popsicle sticks going all the way around that octagonal shape and I'll overlap each one. 
Feel free to use a strong adhesive because this is how we're going to be hanging it on the wall. Now it's looking much better. I'm also going to be adding two of my popsicle sticks to the front. And the center of my flower will be sitting directly on top of these popsicle sticks. Now I'll add a lot of my hot glue and I'll attach the center of my flower. I'm also going to be adding my Apple Barrel Jet Black Acrylic Paint. I'm just using my small brush to apply it in a dabbing motion. Now this is how we'll hang it on the wall. And this is how this one turned out. I hope you like this one. Let's move on to our third project. For this project, we are using a bowl from the Dollar Tree. You just want to clean your bowl before spray painting it. And for my spray paint, I'll be using my gold rustoleum. I added one layer of spray paint and I'll be adding more layers of paint. But before I do so, I'm going to go ahead and add this trifle bowl. I'll spray paint my bowl white, but before I spray paint it white, I'll go ahead and spray paint my bowl with this clear coat and that's just to avoid any bleeding. And then I'll use my white gloss spray paint. Here's my bowl. I turned it upside down to spray paint it and I'm just using some alcohol to clean off the edges. I spray painted my ribbon gold and I'm adding that to the top of my bowl. This is a decorative bowl. I think we can use this for food, maybe. Because since I didn't spray on the inside, what do you think? Would you use it for food? And here's how this one turned out. I hope you like this one. Now let's move on to our fourth and final project. For this project, we are making a vase and I'll be using these two bowls from Walmart, the Dollar Tree sales bowls that you can also use for this project. For my adhesive, I'm using my Aline's Mixed Media and I'm using my hot glue. I'm using my sharp blade to scrape away that excess glue. I'm also using this wooden round and I'll be gluing it to the base of my bowl. My next item is a candle holder from the Dollar Tree. I'll glue it to the opposite side of my bowl with the opening exposed. I'm using my hot glue to seal the bowl and the base. I want it to have a seamless look. To hide all the seams, I'll be using my sand from the Dollar Tree. I'll be painting my vase black, so I'm using the black sand. To attach my sand, I'm using my tacky glue.
Now I'll take it outside and use my Rust-Oleum flat black to spray paint the entire vase. Now this vase could be used for any style, so you could leave it as is, but I'll be adding some gold glitter leaves and that's just going to give my vase a nice elegant look. I'm also adding a piece of my Dollar Tree felt to the base to give it a nice clean look. So this vase could also be a perfect gift. And this is how this one turned out. I hope you like this one. Let me know which one was your favorite and if you'll be recreating any of them. If you missed last week's video, here it is on the screen. Just click that rectangular box to watch. Please remember to give me a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. I hope you enjoyed this week's projects. Thank you so much. Take care and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye bye.